Let's talk tools. What's up guys, Nick Mo here with Nick Mo Designs. Today, I wanna to talk about some boots. I've had problems with boots for years. I've bought a lot of boots, I've worked in a lot of different trades. Boots just never seem to last. Uh, back in the day, I used to love Georgia boot. They, uh, they took care of all my needs. They had one of the best, longest lasting boots there was. And then they got bought out and down the cycle they went. So then I went to Red Wing and in my opinion, Red Wing still is one of the best boots you can buy. However, they don't sell the ones that I like in my area anymore. I have to special order them. And I'm a firm believer in, if I can't try it on, I'm not going to buy it. So then I went to, uh, who did I go to? I went to Ariat. They've got a great boot. Love their boots. Uh, actually, I have on a pair of Ariats right now as we speak. But that's not who we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about a boot that made me go outside my norm and pleasantly surprised me. And that's Everboot. Everboot is a brand most of you probably haven't heard of. I know up until about three or four months ago, I'd never heard of them before. Uh, when I first heard of them, I thought, ah, great, here we go. Another cheap made Chinese piece of junk boot that's trying to get in with everybody. Uh, just like a lot of these smaller tool companies trying to get a lot of the pros to review them and, you know, We'll see, but they probably won't hold up. Boy, was I wrong. So first, let's talk about Everboot. They make a great boot. Now, when I said they made me go outside my comfort zone, that's because they're an online boot. The first pair I bought, or the first pair they sent me, didn't fit. These were given to me to review for my honest, unbiased opinion. They didn't tell me what to say. These words are Nick Moe's words. First one didn't fit me good. Tried them on, way too big. So that's my first complaint. Their sizing is just a little bit off. Whatever size you are, get a half size down. I'm typically about an eight and a half, nine. Uh, these are an eight. They fit me perfectly. I know, I got a small foot, I'm a small person, whatever. Now for the real pro. These things fit almost completely broken in out of the box. The leather on these is so soft and supple no blisters, no issues, just some of the softest leather you'll ever find. And before you ask, yes, they are genuine leather. The sole material, I love it. Now, this is not gonna be a typical construction boot. This is more what I would wear on a roofing project uh, than I would around a regular construction site, or what I would wear around an industrial aspect, like working inside of a warehouse or a manufacturing facility where you don't have to have uh, a hard sole shoe. If you have to have a hard sole shoe, they, they do have some other options. Uh, my dad actually has a pair of their others. Now, these are the mock toe. I also opted to not have the steel toe or the composite safety toe. Uh, but that's because, again, my comfort level, I'm a safety guy for my company. Uh, so I'm really not in a lot of aspects and areas where I'm going to be having stuff dropped on me. Most of my day is spent in the office or walking around job site, and I have an old pair of beaters for walking around job sites. However, I have worn these a lot um, around my shop, which has a big gravel area. I've walked around in it for quite a while to see how the sole uh, does, and also doing a lot of work around my yard. I've got about five acres worth of property that I have to maintain. I've worn these around working in them, and I'm remodeling my house. And when I'm doing stuff for myself around the house, I'm not wanting to put on a big, clunky, uh, full-length Wellington with steel toe and steel shaft. I want something lightweight and comfortable, because again, I'm at home, and I know what's around me, and I know what my surroundings are. And if I get into something where I need something a little bit safer, uh, I definitely have that option to put on. So again, these are a very comfortable boot. I think my only complaint is uh, the laces, but I've heard a lot of people complain about those. I haven't had any issues with the laces, no breaking or whatnot. Um, I don't know, they just don't feel like an industrial grade lace. But again, I haven't had any issues with them, so I can't really complain too, too much about them. The sole, as you can see, wears very nicely. I've been wearing these for a few months now and haven't really had any issues uh, with the sole, with any degradation. Uh, they, these, this particular pair is oil and slip resistant. I have not slipped in them yet. Uh, even done some work in oil uh, 
doing some work on my vehicles, haven't had any problems with them. Now, here's the great part, the price tag. These boots are less than 100 bucks. So if you're looking for a great pair of work boots for a big box retailer who we won't name, but the owner's first name might have been Sam, uh, price tag, every boot is definitely a place to check out. They've got full on stitch, um, the stitching together, so you don't have to worry about whether or not it's gonna come apart. I've had glue together boots from some of the top $200, $300 uh, brands where the glue just disintegrated and the whole boot fell apart. Uh, so again, really no issues with their construction. The sole is super comfortable. Got a lot of padding on the inside. You can always take the insert out if you want to get something a little bit more cushiony. It is somewhat of just a standard slip-in insert. Uh, nothing fancy there, just a regular foam insert. But again, really easy to swap that out for whatever your favorite brand are. Most guys who are buying a pair of work boots aren't planning on keeping the original insert. They're gonna put their own in anyway. Everybody's got their favorite, especially when you've worked in the construction industry and have been on your feet uh, for most of your life. So would I recommend them? Absolutely. Again, just make sure you pay attention to the sizing. They do run about a half size big uh, in some of the models. I did notice that, uh, especially on this model. And my dad noticed that uh, the model that he had also ran about a half size big. I can't remember the exact name of his model, so uh, please pardon me for that. But anyway, yeah, hope you go check them out. Hope you enjoy.